Okay, I am so excited about today's video. So if you are ready to learn about the difference between passive income and active income and how I created a business with passive income, grab your pen and paper. I'm very excited to share these steps with you. Hey, it's your girl, Steph Rodness, founder and CEO of God the World Girl, creator of God the World Girl University. It's my online e-learning platform where I teach women of Christ how to start their own faith-based business online using the power of sales funnels, AKA passive income. <laughs> so if you're ready to get signed up, go to godthewoodgirl.tv. If you're not ready to get signed up, grab my free Christian business toolkit to help you get started. The link is at christianbusinesstoolkit.com. So if you're ready to learn how I created a passive income lifestyle ah, and the difference between passive income and active income, grab your pen and paper. <laughs> I'm so excited to talk about this. So let's start from the top. What actually is passive income? Passive income is the money you make while you sleep. It is money you make passively. It is money you make without having to actually be there and trade your time. I love passive income because I'm an introvert, because I'm a creative, I love to read, I love to write, I love to watch movies. I just, passive income just works for me because it gives me time to do the things I'm really passionate about doing. Now the reason why this video idea even came up is because I was having a great conversation with my sister-in-law. Shout out to Sister Sue Ann from jsvacure.com and we were just having a great conversation about the difference and requirements between passive income and active income. So you heard that passive income is money you make while you sleep, you don't have to be there to make it. Active income is money you gotta be there to make. That's it. Active income is money you gotta be there to make. If you wanna get paid from your nine to five job, well, you gotta show up to get paid. <laughs> if you wanna get paid as a coach, you gotta show up to coach. If you wanna get paid as a realtor, you gotta show up to show people the properties. That is active income. Passive income, though, is the real estate investor. They purchased the property, they rented it out, and now they're receiving passive income without having to be there. Passive income is somebody creates an online course. They do the work up front to create the online course, put it up for sale, and now they don't have to be there to do the work. The online course does the work for them. It shows up for them. Now I've done both. <laughs> I have done both. I'm 35 years old at the time I recorded this video. I have done both, right? So my first active income job was working at Little Caesars Pizza. I had to show up to make pizzas to get paid my $5.15 per hour. <laughs> when I started my first business, that was an active income stream business. Not only did I have to show up to actually produce the feature films, I had to show up to sell the films. I was going, I was calling youth pastors on the phone, cold calling them to sell my films. I was going to do speaking engagements in order to sell my films. I was going to trade shows in order to sell my films. It was a very much an active income lifestyle. There was no passive, honey. I had to be there to make the money. Same thing with my agency. I started a social media marketing agency in 2017 um, and loved it, but I had to be there to show up. I had to have meetings with my clients every single month. I went to my client's offices and actually filmed them, took pictures of them, for, and then edited the social media content. Again, had to show up. Then I was responsible for posting the content as well, building their sales funnels, creating their website. I had to trade my time for money. That was active income. Here's how I moved over to passive income, right? <laughs> passive income is where you do the work up front and then it just makes money for you whether you show up or not. That has been great. And <laughs> obviously my courses I've had I've created over 50 courses here at God the Wood Girl those are all passive income streams when you girls watch my t-shirt business videos here on YouTube and then you go into the description box you click the launch your t-shirt business master class you go to my Shopify website and purchase I didn't have to be there for you to get that sale sis like you were able to do that I, that happened while I was sleeping <laughs> I've already got that is passive income um, I've obviously created dozens of courses here at God the Wood Girl I've written so many ebooks at least 26 at this point um, I've created print on demand t-shirts Shirts, which I don't have to be there for in order to print and ship to my customers. And obviously I have monthly membership programs, the School of Purpose, the Writers Academy, the God the Wood Girl University, upcoming God the Wood Girl TV. I'm so excited about that one. Those are all passive income streams that I have here at God the Wood Girl. And that's what has allowed me to be able to have a passive income lifestyle. Now, I'm not even going to pretend with you girls. I don't work that much. <laughs> um, and that's the conversation I was having with my sister-in-law. I was like, man, when I was making less money, I was working so hard. I was having to work at least eight hours a day, six to seven days a week, especially when I had my agency. I was working seven days a week back then. Now I work one hour on Saturdays. I host an office hours for God the University students. And then I'll work maybe, maybe, 
a couple of hours during the week answering emails, you know, recording YouTube videos, things like that. I, your girl does, does, I don't work anywhere near a 40 hour work week. Like I work maybe like a five hour work week, if that. And that comes from all glory to Jesus having passive income. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that the Lord made me so introverted that when I had these active income streams, I ran away and said, no, 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 no. I don't want to make money that way. That's <laughs> literally what I did. I ran. <laughs> So I want to do this. This is not for me. So I want to share with you the steps that I took to create a passive income lifestyle. So the first step and probably the most important step to creating a passive income lifestyle is to build your audience online, build your audience online. In my example, that is going to be an email list, but you can use social media to build up an audience. It's totally fine. The only reason why I don't recommend it is because we don't own social media. And if social media decides tomorrow, they don't want us on their platform. We lose access to our audience. That has happened to me. <laughs> so make sure I recommend that you create an audience that you own, which is an email list. When people give you their email address online, they are submitting to receiving marketing emails from you and you own that email list. Your email autoresponder is never allowed to tell you, oh, we're not giving you the emails that you imported to us. They're never allowed to do that. This is legally your asset in your business. So you own that list. So if God forbid social media shut down tomorrow, you still have a way to contact your potential customers and your audience through email marketing. So that was the first thing that really helped me a lot. Before I had my own email list, to find customers, I was calling people in the phone book, I was going to trade shows and events. I had, I had to purchase a booth and stand there and hand out cards. I was going to um, faith-based concerts and handing out my little business card, trying to network. Um, I was getting bookings for motivational speeches, going there, speaking, having a table afterwards, shaking 5 million people, not 5 million, but in my head, my introverted brain, I was like, when is this gonna end? <laughs> shaking people's hands, connecting, collaborating, talking. I was always going out having to search, 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 find, find, find. With an email list, you have your audience there and you've built a connection with them. You have poured into them, they have poured into you. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. And so if you invest your time up front building your own audience, you don't gotta go out and try to find people to bring customers to you. You have your own customers right there. If you don't know how to build your own email list, get into God the Wood Girl University. I show you how to do it step by step. Go to GodTheWoodGirl.tv. The second thing that I did to have a passive income lifestyle is I created a product that didn't require me to be there. I created a product that didn't require me to be there. Let's say you want to learn how to start your own t-shirt business. Now I have two options to help you. The first one is my t-shirt business accelerator, which is my five day live program via zoom where I get on zoom and I teach you over a five day period live how to start your own t-shirt business, right? Or, I have the replay of the t-shirt business accelerator that I've already recorded and you can purchase the replay and watch what I did before to help students start their own business and then you follow the steps on your own. Now, which one do you think I prefer? <laughs> so I'll still teach a t-shirt business accelerator live every once in a while, but I don't do it as much as I used to because I see the power of passive income. So creating a product that allows you to serve your customer the solution without you being there is how you're able to actually scale this. That's gonna look like an online course. It's gonna look like an ebook. That's gonna look like a prayer journal or a planner. It's gonna look like a print on demand t-shirt business, right? It's going to look like drop shipping jewelry. Whatever you don't have to be there for to deliver the solution to your customer, that is a passive income product. My favorite passive income product is obviously God the Wood Girl School of Purpose. <laughs> it has been around for years, praise God. It's helped hundreds of students at this point, and I don't have to be there at all. Um, so I love God Will Grow University. I truly love God Will Grow University, but it's not 100% passive income because I still have to show up for office hours and I teach a live master class each month. So it's not technically completely passive income. School of Purpose is though. I have not had to do anything in that program for I don't even know how long. And it just is what it is. It's just set up, it's recorded, it's there. You go through it at your own pace. It is a 100% passive income for me. It's one of my favorite, favorite products. Coming up soon, I'm gonna have God the Wood Girl TV, 
which is gonna have original digital media, television shows, films, documentaries, vlogs that are produced for faith-based entrepreneurs. So I do the work up front to create the content, release it, but I don't gotta do nothing, sis. There's not gonna be office hours, there's not gonna be live classes, there's not gonna be live trainings or streams or anything like that. It's basically gonna be like Netflix, where you basically log in, you watch what you want, you log out, and then you're done. That is so exciting and I'm so excited to launch it. So make sure you're on my email list because the those of you on my email list are gonna get the launch discount pricing. Make sure you're on my email list. <laughs> so yeah, I love passive income products. If you don't know how to create your own products, get into God Will Grow University. I have the product creation toolkit that shows you how I create products step by step. The third thing that I did to create a passive income lifestyle was I created a sales system that sold my products without me having to be there. I created a sales system that sold my products without me having to be there. Now, I say this very gingerly because I know there are a lot of seven figure businesses that trade their time in order to make sales. I'm still a six-figure business. I'm a multiple six-figure business, praise God, but I'm still a six-figure business. We haven't hit the seven-figure business mark yet. I believe it's coming. <laughs> so I mean this with all due respect, and I understand that there are a ton of seven-figure online entrepreneurs who use their time to make sales. I get it, okay? I definitely get it. So again, with all due respect, um, I know one person who she uses her live webinars to make sales. Um, and she has like a $10,000 product. <laughs> so she has to show up for the live webinar to make those sales. Um, I know another person who has a $5,000 product and she uses sales phone calls. So basically like her funnel drives people to book a sales call with her and then she gets on the phone with them and then she sells them this $5,000 product, which is awesome. There's nothing wrong with these. Uh, I know another really big entrepreneur, you guys probably have heard of him, who uses launches in order to make multiple seven figures. Um, and so he just has to show up basically for the launch in order to make that money. Nothing wrong with those things. There's nothing wrong with those things, okay? It's just not what I wanna do. <laughs> it's just not what I wanna do. Um, so in 2019 to 2020, I taught a free webinar pretty much every single week. Uh, those of you who are OG Godwood girls will remember that. Every week, every Thursday at 8 p.m., I was teaching a free webinar. And it's fine, and it made me really good money. Um, so all oh, glory to God, I hit my first six-figure year doing that. So. You know, it's good money, glory to God. But this year, I wanted to test out what would happen if I did not use that strategy and instead relied completely on a passive sales funnel. So basically a method where I can make the sale without having to show up. So I did, <laughs> all glory to Jesus. Um, what I would do is, well, what I did was I created my sales funnel itself um, so a lot of you girls have seen that sales funnels, the find your purpose toolkit, um, and basically just create a social media content to drive traffic into that sales funnel. And it sold by itself. It sold school of purpose by itself. I didn't have to do anything once the sales funnel was built. And it's just such a powerful way. And I wish I had focused more on doing that in um, the past because I started building passive income sales funnels in 2015. I don't know why I didn't just focus on that completely, but just because so many seven figure businesses use webinars as live webinars as their strategy, I, for some reason I had this mental block like, I can't make the same money if I'm not doing live. Well, it turns out I can. Glory to God, I actually made more praise God this year than I did last year. Doing no webinars. I think I did live webinars one month this year. I think it was September uh, because I had a lot of students asking me like, why aren't you doing webinars anymore? Um, so I did it for one month. I think I did four of them straight. I think it was September. It might've been August, I can't remember. But I did it for four weeks straight, which was fine, but it just, it totally affirmed <laughs> that I don't want to have an active way of making sales in my business. I want it to be passive income, which makes sense because I teach passive income in Godwell Girl University. So it makes sense that I love what I teach, right? Uh, so yeah, so create a passive income sales system for yourself and that's going to look like a sales funnel. So you do need the, to do the work up front to create a sales funnel, very true. And you do need to split test your sales funnel. That's testing your sales funnel to make sure it's converting for you the way that you want to. Very true. 
I teach you how to do both of these things in God of War University. Create your sales funnel, split test. I teach you both. However, don't let yourself get overwhelmed by the prospect of creating your sales funnel. I know it keeps a lot of people held back like, what you mean I gotta create a video sales letter? Like, I get it, <laughs> I get it. But I have seen sales funnels from people that have the most simple video. I mean like recorded sideways on their cell phone, vertical, vertical, on their cell phone, saying this sales video, so simple, it's like a 12 minute sales video and making sales left and right. Like. Don't let perfection or thinking it has to be some extraordinary thing overwhelm you. Just get the formula. In God of War University, I teach you my formula for doing it, but there are other ways you can learn the formula too. Get RussellBrunson's.com secrets. He gives you his sales letter formula like this. He just gives it to you for like $10, you know? So don't let the process or how many parts of a sales funnel overwhelm you. Don't have to do that. Commit, commit to getting your passive income sales funnel done get it launched, and that is going to help you create that passive income lifestyle. And finally, the fourth thing that I did to have a passive income lifestyle, glory to Jesus, <laughs> the fourth thing that I did was use passive marketing strategies to drive traffic into my passive income sales funnel to sell my passive income products. You see how this all works? Every piece has to be passive, every piece, in order for you to have that passive lifestyle. So here's what I mean. <laughs> Back in my day, um, and this was about 2016, I was using live stream marketing to make sales in my business. So live streams are, well, you guys know what live streams are, you just go live. Back then it was, Mer it was Periscope or Meerkat that you got live on, that you went live on. Uh, Facebook actually introduced live stream, I believe it was 2016, so when that happened, I started going live on Facebook as well. And every single day, your girl was turning on the live stream, delivering motivation, and then pointing people to get my devotional. At the time, I was selling daily devotionals. Up there is actually one of the daily devotionals that I used to sell back then. <laughs> so it was a great way to earn income. At the time, I was still working my nine to five job, so I had to get up anyway. So it wasn't like it was inconvenient. Um, I had to get up, get dressed, get ready for work anyway. I used to be a little fashionista when I worked my nine to five job. So I was all dressed up anyway, so it was nothing to just right before work, turn on my phone, and I would deliver like this 10 minute motivational message, let people know they could get my daily devotional, and then go to work. Fast forward to today. <laughs> where I, like right now, I'm wearing no makeup except for I think some lipstick, um, mascara, and some uh, eyeliner, you know? That's it. I think I penciled in my eyebrows too. My hair is out. My, this is the first time all week my hair has been out. <laughs> I'm actually dressed. I'm usually walking around this place in just a t-shirt, right? I don't get dressed every day. I don't. I'm gonna be really transparent with you guys. I don't. I take a shower, I brush my teeth, but my hair stays in a bonnet, no makeup comes on my face, I'm using like some chapstick, you know? And I don't get dressed, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> um, and so for me, if I have to go live every single day, it's inconvenient. And I mean that with all due respect, but it's just not the lifestyle that I wanna have. I don't wanna have to show up every single day to do marketing for my business. But in order for me to make money, I need to do marketing in my business, right? So what do we do? Sis? I invested in long-term marketing strategies. Here's what I mean. Short-term marketing strategies are when you post the content and the content works for you in the short term, maybe a couple of days up to a week. Long-term content is when you post the content and maybe it doesn't work for you right now, but a year from now, it is driving you leads back to back to back to back. Once I stopped investing in short-term content like live streaming and started actually investing in long-term content, I was able to take a step back. And I think as well that, so I started investing in long-term marketing in 2019. So I think that's why 2021, I was able to take such a step back from my business because I noticed I was getting the same amount of leads into my business, praise God, whether I showed up or I didn't. And I think it's because a lot of that content from 2019 is finally seasoned and working for me. So in the beginning, you're going to have to do short-term marketing and long-term marketing in order to make sales in your business. But I highly recommend starting long-term marketing strategies in the beginning as well, while you're posting on Instagram, in those Facebook groups, you know, doing those things, 
also have a long-term marketing strategy. And if you're like, well, what, what types of marketing are long-term marketing? Anything that relies on search engine optimization is long-term marketing because once you are picked up for that keyword, so search engine optimization is basically creating content for a specific keyword. When somebody searches that keyword, your content comes up and they find it. Any content that is SEO friendly, right, will work for you over and over and over again. So I recorded a video, I think it's the t-shirt business on Shopify, how to start a t-shirt business on Shopify. That video was recorded a long time ago. And when I first recorded it, it got maybe 100 views. Now, I believe it's already hit 30,000 views, if not already hit it, it's close to it. And that video alone drives tons of traffic to my launch your t-shirt business masterclass on Shopify. So much traffic, so many clicks come from that video. So I don't have to be actively promoting that masterclass every single day. That video that I recorded a while ago is automatically driving traffic for me. On Pinterest, uh, Pinterest is search engine optimized. So Pinterest is a search engine. So back in my day, I would create all these daily devotional posts for Pinterest. So I'd write the blog article as a daily devotional, create the pin that's optimized for Pinterest for the keyword and pin it to Pinterest. I started doing this 2016, 2017. Now I get like 5,000 monthly visitors to my website. Majority is coming from those pins on Pinterest. It's, it's insane. These are pins I posted years ago, but because they have seasoned in the search engine on Pinterest, Pinterest is delivering those pins to people searching that keyword. And so it's free traffic coming to my website. I'm getting leads every single day to my email list from these pins, right? YouTube is obviously a huge opportunity <laughs> to have long-term marketing. So the thing about YouTube though, and then about any of these strategies, anything that relies on SEO, you gotta have patience. It's not gonna happen like this because part of SEO is the length of time, right? That you're actually getting uh, these people to click on your stuff based on that keyword. So it gets better with time. So when you invest in those, mar in those marketing pieces that get better with time, get seasoned over time, and you make sure you optimize those marketing pieces to drive traffic into your sales funnel, then eventually you have this compound effect where you have 500 pieces of search engine optimized content driving traffic into your one sales funnel and now you don't really gotta show up every single day. <laughs> some of you girls have noticed, so by the time you see this video, my Instagram content may be back, but some of you girls have noticed I've stopped posting on Instagram. I just, I just don't post on Instagram, right? I actually removed everything from my feed completely. I don't go live on Instagram anymore. Um, and it's just because I don't wanna show up every day. And Instagram is a very much show up every single day type of platform. You gotta give in order to get on Instagram. No shade to them, good for them, you know what I mean? They're doing a great job. But for my lifestyle and the way that I want to actually earn an income online, I don't wanna do all that. <laughs> so I have really spent my time investing on long-term strategies, my blog, on my website, uh, optimized pins on Pinterest, right? YouTube videos, right? Podcast episodes that are optimized for search. There are a lot of ways that you can actually do this, but you just gotta invest in the learning. You gotta invest in the learning. Learn these algorithms to help you be able to create that content the way the algorithm wants it. All the algorithms change over time, so you cannot be angry. <laughs> um, I just updated all of God Will Grow University's marketing and traffic toolkit. Um, so the marketing traffic toolkit now has my updated marketing strategies for how I use these long-term pieces of content to drive traffic into my sales funnel. And was I a little annoyed that I had to re-record the marketing traffic toolkit? Yeah, sure, yeah, but it is what it is. These platforms are letting us use them for free. So I gotta change myself. I can't ask the platform not to change. I gotta just change myself when the platform changes. So that is how, praise God, I was able to create this passive income lifestyle, those four pieces, number one, creating your own audience, number two, creating your own passive income products, number three, creating your own passive income sales funnel, and number four, creating your own passive income marketing. Those four pieces together allow me to, praise God, work when I want to work. 
And if you want to do something similar, come join me in God's Word Girl University. It's my online e-learning platform where I teach women of Christ how to start their own faith-based business online using sales funnels, okay? So <laughs> go to godwoodgirl.tv to get started. And if you're like, well, Stephanie, I'm not ready to get started yet, but I'd love to still do more research, make sure you grab my free Christian Business Toolkit by going to christianbusinesstoolkit.com. You've heard me talk a lot about the Lord in this video. All glory to Jesus. I'm so grateful to him. I woke up this morning thinking about how like I get to record YouTube videos today. So this is my fourth YouTube video that I'm recording today. Um, and I was like, Lord, I get to just wake up and record videos. Like praise the Lord Jesus. I'm so grateful to Jesus. He has literally allowed all of this to happen and I'm so grateful. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want you to know he is my best friend. He is my Lord and savior. And I wanna to extend to you the opportunity to have a relationship with him too. John 3:16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. What that means is that being a Christian is trusting in Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So if you want to make that decision today, it's very, very simple. All you got to do is say this prayer with me. You're going to say, Dear Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose again. Today, I believe in you as my personal Lord and Savior. Sisters and brothers in Christ, if you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Angels are literally celebrating you right now. Your name has been written in the book of life. Nobody can ever take it out. Get into a virtual Bible-based church in your area and get started reading the word of God. So thank you so much for joining me on today's video on how on passive income versus active income and how I created a passive income lifestyle for myself. All glory to God while still running my own business full time. I can't wait to hear from you. Comment down below any aha moments that you had um, with this video because I just feel like had I heard this information in 2008 when I started my first business that was very much an active income business it would have made me shift my thinking a little bit about how I was moving to grow my business so comment down below let me know any aha moments that you had don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out my video on sales funnels for beginners if you want a little bit more information about how you can use a passive income sales funnel in your business as well God bless you and Jesus willing I will see you at God the Wood Girl